here, subscribe to Crypto, Crypto Qualm. And we're gonna go live using this live button down at the bottom. And let's see what we have. Bam, subscribe to Crypto Qualm, that easy. What is good YouTube? It is your boy, Crypto Quam. I'm basically gonna tell you guys how I learned to code in the past four months, how I became a web developer in the past four months, and how I learned code basically by myself, bro, using free resources on the internet. I basically learned that you don't need to drop 12K racks on a course, bro. You don't need to go to a university and get a degree to code. You can actually learn this by yourself. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is all free resources that you can use online, bro. You don't need to pay 12K for a coding um, class. So let's just jump right into it, bro. The first resource that I'm gonna show you guys is called Adobe Portfolio. Now, if you have access to Adobe Creative Cloud, which is only $10 a month, you probably have it if you're a content creator or something like that. Um, but if not, you can get it for $10 a month. It's a very, very useful resource, bro. Use it to basically show off your work, bro. Show off your photography, your music, your artwork, anything you have of that nature, you can use it, Adobe Portfolio for that. So as you can see here, boom, you can build a full portfolio. They have a lot of different templates. And with Adobe Portfolio, you don't need any CSS, bro. No CSS, no HTML, bro. You just get right into it. Portfolio pages that they have as well. You don't need any CSS or HTML to use Adobe Portfolio, which is what I love about it. The next resource that I want to show you guys is Udemy. So basically Udemy is um, an online resource where you can find courses. There are paid courses on Udemy and there are free courses on Udemy. Now what I found is the free courses on Udemy are sometimes just as good, if not better than the paid courses, bro. The people who are putting these free resources on here, they're doing it to build their resumes, to build their own portfolios. So they're not gonna put out stuff that is low quality. As you can see here, Here's a little free HTML course. It says web development by doing HTML and CSS from scratch. So if you have zero, zero coding experience, bro, this is the course you need. And then if you have some experience, you can just go over to the web development tab and you can scroll through all the topics, bro. They have JavaScript, they have React, they have Angular, they have Node.js, they have HTML, PHP, TypeScript, anything you need to learn, bro, you can go to Udemy and just learn that for free. So bam. All right, so next we have glitch.io. So glitch is the friendly place where everyone builds the web. Start a new blog, play with React, or build new words, worlds with WebXR. So glitch is basically a an online code editor. So once you've you know gone through Udemy and you learn how to write your code, and if we go on to glitch, instant editing, click a button and you're editing code, start typing your site's updates. Our editor gets you moving fast from any computer with a browser. Better together. Millions of apps built by the magical glitch community await your remix. So bam, as you can see, bro, there are a lot of things that you can do with glitch. Like As I said, same as with Udemy, once you get started and you learn how to build your static website, glitch has a bunch of different resources for you. You could build um, a React website, you could use Node.js, you could build, make a blog, or you could use SQL. So. There's more than just basic website development. And I'm gonna show you guys my dashboard. So I have a few websites, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 live websites. And these websites all have live links. So with Glitch, one thing I love about it is that they give you a live link once you post your website. What you basically need to do now is go online and look up free templates. So I'm gonna show you guys one of the uh, websites I use is W3 schools. They have a whole bunch of free templates and all you have to do is click try it yourself. And they're gonna give you the code and what they do is they actually link the style sheets right here. So you don't have to write your own CSS. It's linked right here. You copy the code, you paste it into your glitch editor and bam, you have a live website just like that. Um, all right, our next resource that we're going to use is called layouts uh it's called css layout generator so layout.bradwoods.io what i looked up was just css layout generator 
bam, you look that up on Google and you have your CSS generators. They have a whole bunch of different layouts that you can use. They have Flexbox, grid layouts. And this is really cool if you just want to jump right into building a basic website with HTML and CSS. You can use CSS layout generator, copy your CSS and paste it into your glitch website. But bam, you do want to take that next step is you can use a an uh, external IDE. So uh, the one that I use is called Visual Studio Code and Code Editing Redefined. It is basically a very, very advanced code editor. Um, it's advanced, but it's very user friendly. So it's a great resource that has Git commands built in. Uh, you can print statements. Um, you can, they have IntelliSense. So like it auto completes your code for you. It's actually a really good resource. Um, and of course you could use all these languages with VS Code. So JavaScript, Python, C slash, or C sharp, C++, uh, PHP, what else? Probably Perl, Markdown, a whole bunch of little stuff that you could use, bro. I see Angular, Vue, what is YML? I don't even know what YML is. But Visual Studio Code, once you download it, is going to look like this. And you can open up your code in VS Code. Man. And I will show you guys actually how to, you know what I'm saying, build the actual website step by step. But right now, I just want to give you guys these free tools that I used in these past four months. <laughs> so, bam, the next tool that you can use is free CSS. So now, if you don't want to write any code, let me show you guys, give you guys a sauce real quick. Bam, free templates. So once you have your Visual Studio Code Editor, what you can do is look up free templates. And all you have to do is download the templates. And I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do this real quick. So once you have Visual Studio Code downloaded, you can go to either freecss.com or I like this one too, it's called startbootstrap.com. And I wanna test out this grayscale website really quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit free download. And what's it gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna download a zip file of this website. And it's gonna expand the zip. And bam, we have it in our downloads now. I'm gonna rename it. Let's just say startup. Startup, so that's our website. We're gonna put it into Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I have that downloaded right here. I'm gonna drag startup, bring it into Visual Studio Code, and bam, now that website that we found online is now in our code editor, and we can start editing the HTML. Let's see, just some basic HTML that we can edit. So I'm gonna show you guys how, once you have this downloaded, how you can actually edit the um, HTML. So I'm just gonna write here, subscribe to crypto, crypto qualm. And we're gonna go live using this live button down at the bottom. And let's see what we have, bam, subscribe to crypto qualm. That easy, all we did was go to, what do we go to? We went to startbootstrap.com. We found a nice eight bootstrap layout. I didn't have to edit any JavaScript, any CSS. All I had to do was edit the HTML page and bam, it says subscribe to CryptoQuam. So you can do this yourself, bro. You don't need to have any coding experience, bro. But I'm putting y'all on right now, P5JS. If you wanna learn how to write JavaScript, you go to P5JS, you go to examples and they have a whole bunch of cool examples of just JavaScript in action, pretty much. Change it to crypto qualm. Let's run it. And bam. So come, go on uh, p5js.org, bro. Check out a bunch of the examples that they have. I talked earlier in the video about YouTube. One of my favorite YouTubers is Coder Coder right here. This lady is amazing, bro. Love, hearts, whatever, bro. She's amazing. Uh, her videos are very, very thorough and she gets to the point. That's what I like about her. She's certain things step by step. So how to build an HTML website by scratch. And then once you do that, how to build an HTML and CSS website by scratch. 
once you do that she teaches you how to put bootstrap into it so this is a free free resource shout out to coder coder i love her videos another youtuber that i love is coding train he does a lot with javascript and um p5js too show you guys you all my websites that i've created so this is my first one that i made using adobe portfolio i actually made this for a client slash friend that i met on instagram who is a rapper so as you can see here we go to the home page we're able to look up um and we go on a soundcloud page i was able to embed a few of his links here and like i said with adobe portfolio you don't need any code so that's what makes it really really great and a really useful tool bro if you just want to get into web editing and say hey i have a live website with the live link as you can see right here this link is live and i made it in about 30 minutes so shout out to adobe portfolio next bro with your code editor vs code right here um what you can do is you can go on github and deploy your live websites so right here i have this live website deployed it is a personal portfolio for myself yeah this is probably my favorite website that i created using bootstrap javascript uh, i was able to put some of my javascript sketches in here and i think it looks really really smooth bro especially with the bootstrap and i didn't write any of the bootstrap but i was able to get my youtube videos in here embedded i was able to actually get my vr experience that i made with my classmates i got it in here or you can interact with it if it wants to load bam so you can interact with the vr experience right here show you all a little bit of what I was able to do with manipulating the CSS uh, templates online. And again, it's nothing too crazy. This is all really basic stuff if you're into web development. But in terms of, I'm saying three months ago, I probably, I did not think I would be this far three months ago. I was able to get my certificates in here and my work experience. I'm to my school yeah my education and yeah that's basically my favorite website that i made that i've made with bootstrap and css another one that i made and then deployed on github uh, i used another html and css template that i found using linkedin learning and i was able to put my work experience my education and a cool gif at the very end Another one, this one uses the same exact CSS, but it's just with glitch. Um, and let me show you guys how you can deploy that website with glitch. Yeah, this one uses the same CSS. It's just, I mean, the same HTML, it's just different CSS. Um, again, very simple HTML and CSS stuff. But I was able to use these free resources to make it, which I love. Um, I have a couple other free form websites. This is a free form one that I made. Freestyle, I should say, meaning I haven't completed it. It's just for fun. This is another freestyle one that I made. I haven't completed it just for fun. This is another one that I made for a client. It's not finished yet, but uh, it's basically supposed to be a landing page for their payment systems. So still working on that. This is the same business and I, it's more of a mock-up. You do have their button so that when people do want to donate, they can donate to PayPal. And that's just a basic HTML trick. Bam, putting a link in a website. And then my uh, P5JS sketches, I wanted to show you guys a few of them. This is a, my favorite one. It's basically a 3D flower. And JavaScript does not, P5JS does not want to load right now. My computer is working on overdrive. So without further ado, man, that is the video. My next video, I will be showing you all how to actually make a live website. So more, I'm going to go more in depth on this step right here. How I, how I made this to say subscribe to crypto Quam. and we can go step by step we can change this right here we could change the nav bar we could change some of the css like we can go step by step bro and how to build a responsive website and get it deployed online 
Without further ado, man, please stay tapped in if you want more coding videos. We're still gonna make more crypto videos. I know crypto is down right now, but I'm not switching up. Still staying 10 toes on my cryptocurrency. Without further ado, man, thank you for tuning in.